All right, uh, first question, I just wanted to ask you guys if you knew exactly what today's, or tonight's event is about. I just found out. I just I know you have FNX, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of just the whole festival? Uh, I think it's a neat idea to have all these bands together. No. It's great to see all the friends that we've made and we, that we haven't seen for the last three days. Uh, we actually opened up for them on their first record with RCA at a place called Avalon, Chicago. And we got to be great friends. I mean, a lot of the bands I've asked already have said that they really, really like you guys. Oh, that's great. That's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> no, it, it's uh, it's 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 kind of strange, but it, like the um, the more you hang out with bands, other bands who have records, the less insecure those bands seem to be. Like on a local level, it was always dealing with all these weird insecurities because bands are always trying to establish their identities. But when you meet other bands that have records out, it's kind of get past that and you get to make friends because you're in similar situations. Probably see Nirvana. Nirvana and Bolt La Volta. I kind of want to see Chapter House. I've never seen them before. So. We met them in Rotterdam and we got to be pretty good friends. Only because they they could drink as much as as much as we do. What do you guys like when you're out uh, uh, touring? Do you tend to just go back to the hotel room and go to sleep, or do you just go back and go drink? Are you, you need to ask you need to ask him that question. Um, I'd have to say only on even numbered Fridays during a full moon or a lunar eclipse. <laughs> we, we're we're in, we're inhalers. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm really surprised. <laughs> uh, I don't like schmooze fests. We're, we're kind of disappointed that Billy Squire isn't here because there's a rumor he's going to be here at any point. Uh, the food is horrible. It's interesting. You aren't responsible for the food, are you? You're not responsible for the food, are you? Okay, I don't want to. Why is... You should wait till she gets the mic over there. Uh, we thought the drinks were going to be free, and when we got here, we had to pay for them. A Billy Squire wouldn't put up with this. Have you guys met any new bands yet besides the Yes. Yeah, we've met Nirvana and Bold La Volta and Chapter House, but none of the other bands. I just met Pop's Cool Love. Yeah, um, I just wanted to ask you guys about the videos. Are you going to make any more videos? We, we just did make another video. It's another exercise in image twisting. No comment. I concur. <laughs> uh, I just hope that it gets played. So we spent a real lot of money on it. <laughs> no, no, that's totally untrue. No, it's just um, we try to make. Um, I mean, we've only made two videos, but we try to make our videos like. Like not have anything to do with the song. That's kind of how this one is too. It's kind of like their video is made so that if you put any kind of music to them, it would still kind of fit. I think I think this one is like the opposite, though. It doesn't fit to any song. Um, uh, it's it's actually um, uh, footage of the band shot, um, live footage from a gig in London, and and some like setup type stuff. Do you guys have any special plans for tonight? We're we're gonna attempt to play. Are you gonna have any other bands come up and play with you or anything like that? Um, no, no. We might have an Iron Lung on stage though. That's <laughs> that's possible. We hadn't considered that. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I think we fare better with shorter sets because it's a little more uh, kind of fist in the head. It will be a fist in the head set. It will be loud and raucous. What did, what did he say? <laughs> that will be... No, but what did you say? Loud and raucous. <laughs> What's raucous? You it'll mean be, ruckus? It'll be jovial. Very jovial. Hopefully it won't be pathetic. What do you guys think of the whole Boston music scene? Do you guys know anything about it? Um, actually, I, I, actually, I think most of the bands that come out of Boston aren't very good. I think, I think time has kind of proven that the hype on Boston wasn't very, very... Uh, it wasn't just hype. It wasn't just hype. We like bands from Boston, like, <laughs> not just like, yeah. Two, two times. We played here two times in Boston. Great, great. I just think the bands here are kind of, the, the bands that most people know, save for La Volta, are kind of straight ahead, you know. I think, you know, I mean, let's face it, Dinosaur was the, the real export from Massachusetts, and there hasn't been much since. Pixies, I don't think, ever really were like attached to Boston per se. I mean, they they gathered when they were at school here, but and, uh, they weren't Boston bred. What is that other band, the Darling Buds? Is that? Mm? No, they're from England. No, no, not the Darling Buds. With that. Does it really oh. matter? I'm I'm not gonna say anymore. Um, we're, we're somewhat familiar with the bigger, like, quote-unquote, commercial alternative stations, you know. I mean, you have to be there. They, um, they have a lot to do with records, you know. I can't, I can't say directly whether one station has helped us out or not, you know. Um, unfortunately, it's like anything else. Stations watch what other stations do, so if FNX pulls a lot of weight, then who knows who else will play you because a big station is playing you. I, I try not to think about it too much. I mean, I mean, if, you're, if, you're, if your records aren't good, they're not going to get played anyway. So, you know what I mean? You can get really bogged down in the technicalities of why records are getting played. And let's face it, you know, most of the stuff you hear on commercial alternative radio is crap. You know, just because it's alternative music doesn't mean it's good. So. Tour, we're, we're, oh, I'm um, getting played on the radio. Is up next. <laughs> we're, uh, we're we're supposed to go on tour with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and then uh, we're gonna go back to Europe and tour. Maybe go to Japan, and then uh, write another album. So that's gonna be a pretty big tour with the Chili Peppers. Yeah, we're, this is only the midpoint of our touring. Uh, the Chili Peppers will be like two months in America, I think. Have you met them yet? No. I, I've actually met Anthony once. I think he thought I was Charlie Sexton. <laughs> I, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, I think they're a great band. I mean, I think it's a totally great opportunity. Groovy band. Uh, I like them. I mean, I think they're a great band too. I've seen them ever since their start. They're definitely a, a rock percent. staple. <laughs> what do you guys think, just for the year in rock, what the biggest event in rock this, this last year has been? The biggest event? The biggest event? Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Oh, yes, definitely. Why? Uh, who would have ever have foreseen something like that coming together? I mean, all of those bands that are so... I don't know, underground, uh, coming into the mainstream, just, and, and everyone was focusing on that. I thought it was great. I mean, bands like that are part of the reason why bands like us and some of the other bands that are playing tonight have gotten any kind of chance whatsoever to go anywhere. It's great. It's a great thing. Um. I would say Lollapalooza because it's finally showing that alternative music can pull its own weight in the marketplace. And the failure of a lot of so-called big tours, you know, shows that, you know, the true support lies in real music 
and not mass-produced, you know, McDonald's music. Nothing that out of the ordinary picks and autographs on stupidest things. People always want my lyrics. I get all these letters asking for lyrics because they can't understand the words. Yeah. No. I mean. I kind of I, I kind of take the Michael Stipe view on it, which is just that even if they hear a word wrong, maybe that'll give them some kind of thought, you know. I mean, there, there were always things I thought Michael Stipe was singing that he probably wasn't even, but he created something that was unique, you know. And maybe the the fact that people can't hear my lyrics creates like ten different lyrics for ten different people. Huh? You want us to say what? First, each band member says. No, just one person. Just one oh. person. Hi, we're the Smashing Pumpkins, and this is the Week in Rock. Another one. This one's for 120 minutes. 120 minutes. Yeah. Howdy, you're watching 120 minutes, and we're the Smashing Pumpkins. No, that's wrong. Right? <laughs> it should be the other way around. <laughs> Why don't you say hi over the Smashing Pumpkins and I'll say 100. And you're watching 120 minutes. Hi, we're the Smashing Pumpkins. And you're watching 120 minutes with Dave Kendall. Jeff. Yeah, one more. This is MTV Asia. <laughs> MTV what? Asia. That should be James. Asia? <laughs> James. Yes. Oh. <laughs> hi, we're the Smashing Pumpkins and this is MTV Asia. He can't do it. <laughs>